Hi everyone, I'm Sandra. And I'm Alex. We are from Get It Studio and we are excited to help you to take your 3D project to the next level. Today, we are merging our passion for typography and craftsmanship to create a 3D logo for a ceramic class named Clay Club. Drawing inspiration from textures, imperfections, and warmth of handmade ceramics, our concept is to create a strong contrast between raw and fired clay and a beautifully glazed finish. We want it to look so realistic that you might think it's a photo rather than CGI. We'll start in Illustrator, add texture and substance 3D painter, and bring it to life with animation in After Effects. Let's get started. While the Illustrator is usually our go-to for 2D design, today we are creating 3D objects, and it's easier than you might think. Open the 3D and materials panel. Use the Extrude tool to add depth to your logo outline, creating the outer border. This will look like a mold that contains our ceramic logo. Let's add some bevers. They are key for achieving realism. For inspiration, take a close look at everyday objects around you. You will discover that they all have bevers in different shapes and sizes. Now let's create the inner clay sections of our logo. The extrusion height should be slightly smaller than the outline part. This will create a stronger visual effect of the clay being contained within the mold. Next, use the inflate tool to create a rounded effect on the areas where the glaze texture will be applied. Set all objects to zero rotation for a clean, perfectly aligned look. Finally, Group your shapes and drag and drop them in the Asset Export panel. Export your model in the GLTF format for easy transition across multiple applications. Let's head to Substance Painter. Import your logo by clicking File, New. Locate your GLTF file. Set the resolution to 4096 pixels for crisp textures. Make sure Auto Unwrap is enabled for correct texture mapping. Double check that everything looks correct. Sometimes minor adjustments in Illustrator may be necessary to get the results you want. Do you notice how each part of the logo is separate? This is important for applying textures easily. Consider renaming these parts for better organization. Before applying textures, we'll back our model. There are various parameters, but we concentrate on two important ones for optimal texture quality. First, set the output size to 4096 pixels and the entire aliasing to super sampling four times. Second, click Bake Selected Textures. This generates map that enhance details like shadows and curvature, resulting in more realistic textures. Your 3D logo is now ready for the next step. Applying textures. Finding the perfect textures can be challenging. Thankfully, the Substance 3D Assets Library offers a vast collection of ready to use photorealistic materials. Let's start by searching for clay options. Narrow your search to materials and surfaces in the sidebar. This modeling clay options looks perfect. Let's check it out in the web player. The best part about these materials is how we can customize them. We can adjust the color to our liking and even control imperfections like fingerprint density. We are able to smooth them slightly too. These parameters allow you to create a truly unique look. Let's also download some clay glaze materials for later. For the mold, I think the terracotta options would be a good fit. The imperfections in the glossy terracotta material will make it look very realistic. Now, let's switch to Substance 3D Painter and apply these materials to our 3D logo. Let's import our materials. Click File, Import, Resources, and add the resources. Select the files from the Substance 3D Assets library. Now drag and drop the materials onto the logo elements. See how those flat shapes suddenly gain depth and detail just from the textures? I love the combination of glossy terracotta, modeling clay, and glaze clay. 
The mix of textures is visually interesting and the contrast will make it super eye-catching. Let's adjust the colors for a perfect match to our original design. Remember those customizable parameters we saw earlier? Now we get to use them. Find the color parameter and use the color picker to match each element. Now let's fine tune the modeling clay material. Add the normal map and watch how it instantly adds those subtle details. Adjust styling and use offset to position the texture perfectly. Tweak the roughness, fingerprint density and smoothness to your liking. Don't be afraid to play around with the other materials. You can adjust the glossiness, styling, colors and available parameters. For a less uniform look, change the random seed on each material to avoid obvious repetition. Experiment until you're happy with the overall look and feel. Now let's bring our texture logo to life in After Effects. Transferring from Substance 3D Painter is very easy. Go to File, Send to, Send to After Effects. Note that the same process works for sending your model to other compatible 3D applications. Our After Effects composition is ready with a texture backdrop, giving our logo a realistic setting. See how your Substance 3D Painter files appear in the project panel? Drag it into the timeline, then adjust the scale as needed. Lighting is key when taking your design to the next level. First, create an environment light by clicking Layer, New, Light, Environment Light. Make sure Cast Shadow is enabled for realistic touch. For even better lighting, let's use an HDR image. These images provide realistic light options and reflections. Search for Lights in Substance Assets Library. Download your choice and import it into your After Effects project panel. Then simply drag and drop it onto the timeline. Now set your image as source. Experiment with different HDRIs until you achieve the perfect lighting effects for your scene. Time to animate. Add a camera by clicking Layer, New, Camera. Adjust its settings and set keyframes to create a dynamic showcase of your logo. With a little editing magic, you'll have a stunning 3D scene showcasing your beautiful textures. Now it's time to experiment and see what incredible creation you can bring to life.